What's going on everyone? Welcome, Rabbit here, and we finally get to see what the heck is inside of the Bitmain App Miner X5 non-ASIC CPU Monero Miner. So Keaton Ricard here who did purchase the Antminer X5 and tore it apart as soon as he got home, posted some pictures in Discord. So let's take a look at what we got going on inside the X5. Are you looking for ASIC miners? Just not sure who to trust? Head on over to Crypto Miner Bros. They do have the latest models of all the popular brands from Bitmain, Ice River, Gold Shell, Jazz Miner, Apollo, Micro BT, IB Link, Canon, Avalon, and in Silicon. We got the S21 is already on order. I believe shipping begins in May. This thing is 200 terahash at 3,000 watts. On top of the X5, XMR Miner, we got some Hydro Cooled Bitcoin Miners, and of course the S19K. Be sure to use my link in the description and code RABID will grant you $50 off per item that you purchase at any given time as well as shipping fees are calculated in the price already and they drop the value so that import fees are next to nothing. So here's the first picture. He did put his community manager card here so that, that's hilarious. That's awesome though. But here we can see some heat sinks as well as the memory that's being used. It looks like 8 gigabytes DDR4 3200 so dim so very interesting we got some legit ram and everything happening under the heat sinks if we look in here here is the chip itself so this is what sofon sofon something like that sg2042 r so i actually googled this chip and right here it does look like it is a risk 5 processor sg2042 it is a server soc system on chip so sock integrated 64 high performance cpu cores with 64 megabytes of system cache cpu clock runs at 2 gigahertz so it's a slow clock speed but it is 64 cores that has 64 megabytes of system cache now i'm assuming there's only one thread in each one again i don't really know exactly the small details here but you do need at least two megabytes of l3 cache here they have their 64 megabytes which must be doing the same they're not specifying l3 but it is system cache for every entire core so I'm, that's why i'm assuming it's single threads inside this thing but again i'm not a hundred percent sure so here we can see it's 64 cores 2 gigahertz is the speed 64 megabytes of cache and it's 32 times pci gen 4 connectivity Here's a closer look at the memory modules yet again, so you can take notes if it's something you want to do. Moving on, here's that chip processor again, Keaton's card happening yet again with the RAM there. Here we got a little more opened up. You can see the chip here, thermal paste kind of around it, so nice little chip there. So there are, so each one looks like a chip, so there's one, two, three. Uh, four five six so this is one hash board here each hash board does have six so i am currently testing this miner that video will be released tomorrow and you know it's kind of unimpressive but again we'll wait for that video to release but here we can see that one hash board does have six of these 64 core cpus move on to the next photo here's some of the back end of it some modules and everything going on so here is your actual hash board complete without everything in it this must be the back side and then here coming up we have some silicon go you can see some numbers from bitmain there's the control board here Let's see what we got going on with this control board if you want to take notes take numbers you can pause it and write everything down maybe you want to try to build your own machine and then here we got some more of the control board as well looks a little dusty he's wiping some stuff off on the finger so this thing has been tested previously as we know bitmain usually does so there we have it guys we can finally see the internal organs of the bitmain app miner x5 monero miner which they claim to be is a professional multi-coin miner which so far it sounds like that's not entirely accurate thank you for checking out this video i will see you on the next one rabid out